Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Cinema Hub channel and welcome to 2023. We're finally in the new year and the cinema vlogs are now officially on this new channel. I know some people haven't took their Christmas decorations down yet, but we're on a new channel. I don't know what I just stepped on, but we are heading down to the cinema tonight to see the one, the only Whitney Houston. This is one of those documentary movies where it's based on a celebrity and it goes through their life. So this one is based on um, Whitney Houston, I Want to Dance with Somebody is the name of this movie. I mean, who doesn't love that song? I want to dance with somebody. I want to feel the heat with somebody. We've seen movies like this in the past, you know, Bohemian Rhapsody, Judy, um, Respect was another one, which was Jennifer Hudson uh, doing Aretha Franklin. So, you know, there's been movies like this in the past, and I don't know who it is that's playing um, in this movie, but Stanley Tucci is in this movie. I know him from the Beauty and the Beast movies. With this new channel, ladies and gentlemen, I have to do a lot of research. And you can tell I flumped it already. <laughs> but without any further ado, I'm going to like, it's not as cold as it was in the last vlog. The last vlog being Avatar last year. That was, that was the last movie that we seen. Um, so yeah, I'm going to wrap up this little section and then we'll have a small talk after the movie. I cannot believe we're in 2023 and hopefully this channel will be successful. That's my main thing. I really want this channel to be successful. You know, we, we've launched this new, well, we've rebranded this channel look at the cars man it's like six seven o'clock right now like what where's all the cars i think normal especially walking this way towards the cinema where where is everybody <laughs> guys i will see you after the movie and we'll have i was gonna say a spoiler free talk but it's not gonna be a spoiler free talk it's it's not we're going to go into spoilers quite a lot, even though it's discussing the life of Whitney Houston, but it should still still be a good one, I think. I, I love the music of Whitney Houston, you know, it's like that, that, that big number, I want to dance with somebody, that, that's just a perfect example. So I'll see you guys after this movie. One thing, ladies and gentlemen, one thing I want to get off my chest. This movie, oh, it broke me. <laughs> Movies have broken me in the past, but something about this one hit. I don't know what it was, but I can tell you what, uh, what ruined the movie for me. You know how they show trailers? at the start of the movie, sometimes. Sometimes they show two or three, sometimes, yeah. Well, they showed the teaser trailer for Barbie. Yeah, you know that movie that's getting made with Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling? Yeah, they showed, they showed the teaser trailer for it. 
and it looks horrible. It looks really bad. But one thing I did love about this movie, they mentioned so many other musical icons. They mentioned Elvis. They mentioned the Beatles. They mentioned Judy Garland. And they mentioned Aretha Franklin. So hearing all these people get mentioned, it was really good because it reminds you of all these other artists that have happened in the past. And these are all movies that have been made. The woman who played Whitney Houston, Naomi Ackman, Ackman, I, I can't pronounce her surname. She was great dealing with Whitney Houston's past where her music wasn't black enough. Dealing with her marriage to Bobby Brown. Again, all the stuff. And one song that I didn't realize was Whitney Houston was that. And I, I will always love you. Didn't even know that was her until I heard it in this movie. And I was like, oh, I know that song too. Oh man, ladies and gentlemen, there, there is so much that I can take away from this movie. Um, Whitney Houston breaking all these records. Michael Jackson was also mentioned at one point. Just so much, so much stuff mentioned. Our next movie is that Tom Hanks movie uh, a man called Otto I don't know what day that's going to be I can't predict a day I think it comes out on Friday so I think that will be when we go to see it I think I'm not a hundred percent certain on that so do not hold me or quote me to that Stanley Tucci in this movie he was like the manager of Whitney Houston so he played the role of the manager which is what Tom Hanks was in the Elvis movie last year now this morning this morning it wasn't cold but my god has it picked up since this morning like it is really cold and I'm pretty sure this this is all frost right now so if I slip not only will it be, you know, comical entertainment, but I may hurt myself, and then that means you won't get another vlog. And I know some of you are celebrating, but screw you. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for this video, our first vlog on the new channel. Hope you continue to support it. And, uh, yeah, I will see you in the next cinema hub cinema invasion channel vlog video i don't know i'm mixing between the two sometimes i'll call it cinema invasion but the title and thumbnail say cinema hub so you know we switch between the two we're throwing it to the wall and see what sticks whatever youtube doesn't like i'll do the opposite but ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching this movie was great i would definitely watch it again it's one of those heartwarming movies because a lot of stuff really hit and a lot of stuff really stuck. So I will see you in the next movie. <sighs> yeah, it's gotten really cold. Oh my God.